Hi, hello, konnichiwa, and good evening to all the Them, Zems, and Donkey Gems, and others of the Bad Bitch variety. My name is Ms. Queeb. Um, I am married to Mick Queeb. This is his channel. Hi, hello. We are on day 87,402 of a 30-some-odd day stream. Uh, we've been having a subathon since May 14th. We have been live, with the exception of, what was it, like an hour yesterday morning when the power went out? Or was that the day before? I don't know. I have no concept of time right now. Um, yeah, so we're uh, we're in the home stretch. I'm I'm looking forward. To, I love you guys, but I'm looking forward to never seeing your faces for at least a few days. Um, we are. Uh, I guess this is the pregame. Pregame is where we kind of shoot the shit, we chew the fat, and just kind of shake out all the uh, negative vibes. So you're, um, you know. All you guys, gals, gays, and days can uh, just chill and hang out and have fun and not worry about all that negativity. Um, as always, before we uh, get into our program, I do want to thank every single one of you for your continued support. Whether you are one of our top donors, our sub gifter, or if you just lurk during the day if you have never said a single word in chat thank you very much um we appreciate you terribly so current goal is playing alien isolation due to extremely high chat demand we are we're at 2026 20, and we need 2500 apparently there's also going to be a mcquee name origin rolled into that which i had no idea about um so that's cool um, so we're, what, what is that? Like 400 and change, 400 and change. We can do that, right? Yeah, we can do that in a couple days. Uh, I have had a couple of people make mention, uh, that they don't, they'll say things like, oh, I, you know, I, I don't have any money to gift, uh, to gift a sub and I can't afford a sub right now. And I wanted to address that. Like, literally, you being here is enough. We accept tips, bits, subs, gifted subs, chat messages, Discord activity, share the channel link on your socials, or even, like, just following us and lurking and never saying a single word. We accept it all. Support is support, and we, we love your support. So thank you. Our, uh, our slogan here kind of is spend your taco money, never your rent money. Um, Quee would not like it if you spent your rent money on him. Uh, if you have not joined our Discord, you should go check it out. It is at... But damn, there is the link. We would, uh, we would love to have you. We're slowly building our Discord community. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. It's taking a little time, but you know what? It's... We're making sure that it's quality people there and not, um... Not just building numbers spontaneously. We, we do want to make sure that everyone there is actually someone who is active and wants to be there. If you do have a game that you'd like to recommend to Queeb for future playthroughs, um, there is a, uh, I think there's a suggestions channel. Yeah, there is a suggestions channel. It's called Game Suggestions, um, among many others. Uh, you can go over there, hang out. Um, yeah, that'd be, that'd be really great. Um, you can always, uh, if you are not fo currently following our channel here, you can definitely give us a follow. My name is Ms. Queeb. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash M-Z-Q-U-E-E-B. I mean, I live with my dad, so I don't really have a rent money section to see the screen uh your dad i don't know maybe krona like you being here that's enough like do you know how you're amazing krona like i don't i don't give a shit about marbles but i give a shit that you give a shit about marbles like that's enough for me and i love how excited you get over the game like that, that that's enough we don't need anything from you Queeb, um, that's actually a good question, and I don't know. We actually have, I think we have the same kind of phones, and we do. 
to th yes. I don't know how to do it, but through Discord I can share a screen. And then we can screen record. Explain. Explain to me. Please explain. Vel. Vel Flam. That is an interesting name. I love it. Can we have dancing? What is dancing triangle? It's a it. Are you talking about like as an emote? Come on, you can't you can't just randomly say something and, and ask me to parse it. Okay, as an as an emote. Um it I don't know. I know that we have to be very particular about the design of the emotes, like I'm just because DMCA is being an asshole and everything's under speculation. Um, so we would have to make sure that we had permission from the original creator. I know it's stupid. It is what it is. Yes. Yes. Show me, show me the emotes. Show me. What is that little second dude? He's cute. I love him. And the third, I like the third one too. Very cute. I will do some investigating. I would love to be able to assemble this squad. <laughs> okay, that's that's understandable. I will um I will make note of it if you want to head over to the Discord to the emotes suggestions. Is it is it emote ideas I think is what it's called. Like if you leave a, a screenshot or whatnot. Um, like if things get scary, oh! I tell you what, like I'm, I'm not looking forward to alien isolation, but I do feel like if Quaid plays it, I feel like I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to be there with him, like not doing a co-op stream, but I feel like I'm gonna have to be <laughs> to give him moral support. Okay, the first dolphin approval. I don't know what the little second guy is. He kind of looks like he's like, wait a minute. I do like the little lime guy. The third emote and the fourth emote. Oh, he's cute. I like... I, <laughs> I've said this before. Like, if there were a way for me to get emotes from people without subscribing to them, I would gladly pay for their emotes. Like if it was if it was like half the price where it where I'm I'm not paying for a sub, I'm literally just paying for the emotes, I would absolutely do that like four thousand percent. Let me pay for your emotes, sir. I would totally do that. I just have weird taste, that's all. better emote than that. Right. Let me look. Hold on, please. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the of the peanut butter jelly time emote. All I had to do was type in the word P-E-A-N and the very... <laughs> Here's what came up. Number one, peanuts and coke obvious reasons number two peanut butter jelly time gifts yes show me the jelly time gifts because <laughs> he's perfect like it's very it's very reminiscent of the triangle it's peanut butter jelly time which of course may reminds me of the kevin Federline video 
of him playing Popo Zhao, but that is probably over everybody's head here, and I'm okay with that. I'm fine aging myself. It's cool. Oh, that one's cool, Valestian. I love him. He's just getting down. I don't know if it's my ADHD, but that just reminds me of the Aunt Jemima song. I think I can just hear it in my head. Show me the pancake song. No, it's not from this Adventure Time bullshit. Leave me with that. Leave. Apparently there is a jingle. It's not the jingle. I will find it at a later time because I will then have to turn it into a text tone because that's how I am. Is the goal for him to play or complete isolation? Um, I. Th <laughs> so I think the reason that he he got onto the track of playing the different Final Fantasies in order was just out of inspiration he did play rain world uh, he said it was extraordinarily difficult i think the goal is for him to give it a good run through like maybe not necessarily completed unless it interests him i can tell you right now that that game will not interest him at all <laughs> it's um it's not his thing it's not his game but you guys keep like we want to see him play! Play Alien Isolation! That we have to like put it on there. Which, hey, I completely understand. I totally get it. Play Alien Isolation Dancing Triangle. I have heard that it, it is uh, it is long. You guys would probably maybe get like if you're lucky a couple of hours out of him before he's like I can't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. My nerves are shot. At what point can I just get the fan to stop blowing directly in my face so I could stop the interference on the phone? So that would be bitchin'. Could easily be half the length. I need to, like, find him some new games to play. Like, I, out of everything he's played, I really liked the look of Neon Abyss, and I liked the gameplay of Spelunky 2. So, like, if I could get, like, a, a combo of that, I would personally be happy with that. Oh yeah, thank you so much, Krona. I appreciate it.
Hint Spelunky 2 <laughs> I would think that would be impossible. Depends on the game mode. He could easily play. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's... So we kind of put up the game suggestion area on Disco so people would actually, like, tell us what they want. And so what tends to happen is they'll drop into whatever game he's playing and they will automatically be like, what about this one game? What about this thing? What about this one? And it's, it's been Alien Isolation or Rain World. Like, within the last few weeks, it's been one of those two, constantly almost. And then whenever we started the subathon and people knew that Final Fantasy was a possibility, then it was like Final Fantasy constantly. I would like him to play something. I don't know. Like, I keep thinking like one of the Barbie games. I, th I think he would have fun playing it because they're just so stupid. That's just me. That's me. I want to see chat invested in what kind of Barbie horse he gets or whatever. I think that would be fun. I hyped for Brain World, but seeing him play something different is fun. Absolutely. I'm liking... I'd like to see Queeb out of his comfort zone. So... Alien Isolation would absolutely be out of his comfort zone. Did he play Escape from Tarkov? I know we talked about it. Hold on, I have to look. I need to like see images of the game. Hold on. And I don't know. Maybe it was just one of those that, like, so people, whenever they hear me talk randomly, like if they've never heard me before, they'll be like, what games do you play? And my answer is always, eh, I don't really play. I, I, I don't have the time. I don't. I run a household. I'm, I'm running the back end of McQueeb. Um, and then, like, my own shit. And so people, like, come up with game suggestions, and Escape from Tarkov was one of the games that was recommended to me. I don't remember if he played it or not. He did play um, that Chronicles of Riddick game. And people seem to really like that. Do people stream playing board games? Because I, for whatever, well, I don't think you can drink on stream. Like, or at least you can't drink in like a, a liquor bottle. But I think that would be cool. Like, hanging out with friends, you'd have to have friends. But hanging out with the friends that you have <laughs> and playing board games or card games or something. There is, um, there is a, I don't know if it's like TikTok or YouTube or something, but there's like this thing going around where people will do like a Zoom call where everyone like drinks on the Zoom call and they do each other's tarot card readings. So it's basically like drunk tarot with your friends and they're just all like cruel as fuck. Like they're, they're pulling cards saying, oh my God, you have shit taste in women. You're the worst. I think something like that would be fun. Camera settings, I'm guessing that is difficult. I've so one of the things I've been doing in like kind of my zone out time like when I'm trying to go to sleep or if I'm waiting for the the baby to go to the bathroom outside is um I'm kind of like looking at different setups where Queeb and I are both we're excited about moving to a different place um we don't have any plans yet we're like still looking and we're still like in the very early stages but we're kind of like planning different stream areas and he, his studio is going to be amazing and and I'm planning to have like a like a couple of sets in my office but I think it would be really cool to have at least a setup so we could 
at the very least, like, like play some kind of board game or card game or something. I think that would be amazing. It would be just fun. Like, like, I don't know, this sounds stupid, but like even having the camera set up so it looks like you are one of the people at the table. Camera settings, I guess, is difficult for getting the people. In. Yeah, so it would, be, it would be a whole thing, but we we have like loads of time for that to happen. Loads, like we, I I think that would be fun. And like even, so you could go about it like a couple of different ways. Hopefully, the fan isn't causing a lot of interference let me know if it is because it's pointed right at me but you could go at it a couple of different ways so you could either have the board game um have the camera set up so you are actually sitting at the table and number one you could have chat vote for what people do and so chat knows what's going on with everyone's setups but everybody at the table doesn't or chat only gets to vote on what happens to chat's cards and it's like it's all voting angry joe tabletop simulator is a great one okay hold on let me look angerized hi yeah, we're uh, we're waiting on Queeb right now. Chat as being yeah, like treating chat like they are a player in the game. So chat has to vote on their on whatever they're doing. But that would mean that someone would have to be playing the part of chat, like being in control of the chat and actually like looking. So maybe someone who isn't interested in playing the game but is interested in modding the channel and just being like okay well now we're gonna like this is what we're voting for what do you guys vote for in dealing with that knowing that is true a little too mad that is very true so i think i think it would be it would work out so in theory it would be at least two to three people already playing maybe even four people playing the fifth chair being chat and then someone, a fifth person having to mod and run that. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely go for it. I, I was, I was totally about to like look that up. So you would be saving me a lot of, uh, a lot of hassle. Thank you. It would be cool, but it would create a slow pace game. I think it might, might work CP if it's the right kind of game. Also, I think I think if it's the right vibe, like when, when chat gets silly as fuck, we get silly as fuck. Right. So I think if it's like the right vibe, it would be perfect. You need to skim through to get to the part of the work. Perfect. Thank you so much. I will do that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, like I know in my, in my office, I'll have like a standard desk set up and then a, I was calling it like a craft table setup, um, but like a miscellaneous setup. Um, because one of the things I do want to do is like get into like jewelry making or art or um, cosplay making. I'm not into cosplay, but I like the idea of like making swords and armor. I think that's just badass. I think it'd be so fun. He does comic and skip a video. Navarin, thank you so much for hanging out and like saying hi before you go to bed. I appreciate it. Okay. Let me. Isn't it weird how many people on YouTube have over a million subs and you don't even know about them? Like you've never heard about them in your fucking life. There's that. That damn curved monitor. Is 
sir. Chill. I'm scrolling through this video. Jesus Christ, that green screen room. That's amazing. I don't have the sound up. Um, so it doesn't interfere with uh, with you guys. So I might be missing vital stuff. I mean, Bob over back to chat. See what's going on. I mean, PewDiePie has over 100 million or something, but I haven't even seen a video of him. Same. And that that's actually a phenomenon that's been happening on TikTok lately. And I don't know if it's if it's haters or if it's genuine people wondering that. Like, Charlie D'Amelio has the most subs, on, or the most followers on the account, on TikTok. But she's never in, on the For You page. Ever. Like, ever. So it's, just, it's very odd. Some of the best people on Twitch have 10. Lots of game reviews. This one, Angry Joe's a big guy, being around for a lot of years. Let me know about TikTok World because, because it is the thing that surprises me the most. I've noticed that on, on TikTok, at least in terms of gaming, the content that goes absolutely nuts is education. Like, teaching people how to do something in the game even like something behind the scenes or any kind of etiquette like people love that um they also like they call them glow up videos where you you make a video let's say you make a video now of like your followers and your views on on your followers on twitch your views and you know in a month or where, whenever you do a video in the same kind of format and then you stitch it or I'm sorry you duet it um yeah I need to I need to think of the person in particular I am thinking of but I will I will find it for you just give me a little bit of time uh to be honest in YouTube when they reach certain popularity they seem to significantly reduce the quality of the content they create for the sake of quantity Oh, absolutely. And that's that's part of why I've started going more to TikTok. Yeah, it, it's only one minute bursts and they've actually launched three minute bursts. So for sometimes whenever it's like long form content, like a lot of the stuff I watch is about like therapy and, um, you know, like like learning how to reparent yourself because your your parents are pieces of shit or whatever or if it's something with um to do with small business and it requires a lot of parts it'll literally be like they do the the one minute video and they'll say okay part two is up now and then you have to like go and like watch a different the second video in a row that's annoying but at the same time it requires you to condense your content to a point where there is absolutely no fluff. You're getting legitimate information right there within a minute. And people have started criticizing people who can't get all of their info in into like one, even one three minute video. Um, they will go in the comments and be like, there was literally no need for you to have five parts on this. You realize you're a piece of shit for this, right? Like they will absolutely shame them for it. Um, it's really good for not, it, it's not a lot of fluff at all. Um, I mean, sometimes you'll find creators who like, they do the skits and they do the dances and whatever, but for the most part, I, I, I think the last time I saw a dance was a few weeks ago and someone was making fun of it because they were, they were using it to prove a point about small business and about marketing elemental silver hi good evening i hope your day's gone okay remember that time when you two were zoom i wonder if 
Yeah, absolutely. And like there are some times when I don't mind watching like a 20, 30 minute long YouTube video, but I have noticed that the clickbait, number one, the clickbait is fucking ridiculous. You can't, you can't really do clickbait on TikTok because, um, there, there's, it, it, it's like, there's a minute you're scrolling, like you scroll and the video starts. So you can't like put in any misleading titles, maybe a misleading caption. Um, the thumbnails bullshit. They will say like one thing that I found, which really pisses me off is people who will, um, okay. For instance, I'm, I'm into reptiles and terrariums and reptile care and whatever like that that's one of the things i watch on youtube and so people will say something like hey thank you so much for checking out my video this is me i'm gonna set up a brand new terrarium and and i've never done this before and i've done a lot of research so hopefully you guys enjoy my video stay tuned Yay! and then it cuts to um a different part in the video the lighting is awful they don't know what to say the camera shaky, which that's fine. That's okay. The problem comes when there will be some kind of part or something that they should have gone in depth on and they glaze over it. Like if they have this elaborate terrarium that they built from scratch and you've never seen it before in your entire life and it's the most amazing thing ever then it would be something like um like they completely they don't even acknowledge the the terrarium and then all the comments are like okay i didn't pay attention to the video because i was too busy looking at how amazing that terrarium is like when are you gonna drop the tutorial what the fuck and I just got, I got so tired of those videos on YouTube. They're just... I don't, like, it's it's not... There, there's this big... I'm sorry if I'm stumbling over my words. There's this big movement, I guess you could say, where people are like, just make the content, push out the content, make the content, put it on YouTube. And I, that's cool. Like, I, I agree. Don't piddle paddle back and forth on what kind of content you're doing. If you want to jump in and do the content, do the content. But at the same time, it's like the content that's getting pushed out and it's the content that's been going on. Like these are people who have been around for a couple of years and they've been doing it and their content is still like, they're not upgrading how they, like they haven't learned anything about camera work or lighting or reading their comments to see what kind of things that their their audience is is wanting to hear it's just it, it's it's one of the reasons why i moved to tiktok and i spend a lot of time there because if i don't like their content within a couple of seconds i can scroll and there are people that i do like and I have screenshotted or I have favorited their videos and I will go back and find them. And I'll deliberately binge all of their content, which is great because their videos are like, what, one minute, three minutes at most. And I can just sit there and binge them while I'm outside with Zoe or something. It doesn't matter if it's filler. Or... Exactly. And it's kind of what I, I had started noticing towards the end of like my my quote unquote run with, with YouTube was people purposely making their videos over 10 minutes long so they could have a pre-roll, a post-roll and a mid-roll for, for their, for their ads. And there's no reason for it. They're just, um, uh, hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. And it's just stop. We don't need all of that. I'm watching a D and D there are over 80 episodes. And each is two hours long. Oh my god. I'm not big on the skip personally, but I do like long play, let's play style formats. People that play through the entire game with lots of detailed information.
I'm not a fan of really short videos. I can see why actually busy. Definitely. I, like it, it's, there's a couple of things on TikTok that I don't like. It's number one, the recipes, like people making food. And I get it. You only get a minute. So you're showing like a couple of seconds of this and a couple of seconds of you doing this and a couple. And I understand. Like I get it. But it's. It, it's very odd because at that point. They either. And this is another thing. They will forget to caption the video. Or if it's something like a recipe, they won't put the. They'll put the ingredients in a comment, but it's usually as a response to someone saying, Hey, what, what, what all are the ingredients? Oh, oh. And then they'll do it as a response. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's very odd. However, there's a lot of caveats here. However, I understand that a lot of people who are on TikTok are people who were intimidated by YouTube or Instagram or even Twitter. Navarin, you're being logical. You're being, why are you being logical here? You shouldn't be logical. Hate the 10 minute intros about dumb shit. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Psycho. <laughs> it's the last, hold on, and I'll tell you. Like right now, I have like six different YouTube videos up in tabs, and I haven't gone to any of them because I'm consuming data at such a almost frantic rate that what I'll do is like right now, I probably have like 30 to 40 tabs open. I'll dump all of this on one tab so I have all of it, and then I'll start fresh. And then I usually forget everything that I had open. Um, I'm looking for history. What is the last actual video I watched? Oh, yeah, I watched a video on Thursday. Easy DIY small dog nail cutting solution. They basically took a towel and they made a harness to hold the dog. And then they took two S clips to put the dog on. Um, to hang the dog from the towel or in the towel from the shower rod so they could cut his nails because I I gotta do something about um about Loaf's nails like he's killing me. Um a couple of snake fart videos because people don't understand that snakes fart. The Kenny Rogers Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town video. And that was back on Monday. June 6th, the problem with Google is free activism. Like, I used to consume YouTube. Like, I'm, I'm following like 800 people on YouTube. I consumed a fuck ton of YouTube. And now, with TikTok, I'm, I'm able to consume a lot more, or a lot different data at a faster rate. Because I had been noticing on these, I'm a big fan of the right arrow. Like, I'll sit there and I'll spam the right arrow constantly. Like, best Twitch extensions for streamers in 2021. I watched that video and I right arrowed through most of it. Because the information he was giving is stupid ass information. That's like eons old. There's no reason for it. Like, it's a waste of my time. So one of the ones I saw, yes, it was, but I don't remember where it was. So hold on and I will. Hold please for next available operator. All calls are monitored for quality control purposes. Um, you need to turn your sound up. Please enjoy. Snakes have atrocious farts and they also open their mouths when they do it. Um, the so snakes don't make any noise like yeah they they hiss but they don't have vocal cords that's literally just like a noise and that's the only noise that they can really make um 
So when they're in any kind of pain or discomfort or shock or whatever, they will open their mouth. And so whenever you see a snake's mouth open <laughs> and they're farting like in my head, it's it's like he's quacking. Like that's what my that's what my brain says. Um where is it? There we go. <laughs> It's really sad that snake farts ball python is it. like a thing. Oh yeah, that's another one. And it gets really loud too. It normally happens whenever they're most active, which is in the middle of the night. And it looks... I can't believe I'm talking about this. It, it, <laughs> here's another one. It always looks like they are in pain, and they're not. They're literally just pooping, um, or ju they just have like a lot of gas. Um, if the if their food happens to have gas in its belly, then the snakes have obviously consumed that, and then they will have that gas. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling? <laughs> I don't know. My G-man will absolutely make an emote for that if he can figure out how to do it. <laughs> it's not psycho. Leave him alone. But I guess, I mean, maybe it could be a part of my world. <laughs> it totally could be a part of my I don't even know, like, what, what would that emote look like? Just have a <laughs> have it open like a little duck, <laughs> like. So here's the weird thing about the farts. Okay, snakes are only well. Ball pythons are only active at night unless they've converted their schedule to match yours, like Teddy did. But our two snakes right now are, they are nighttime, right? <laughs> There is nothing more terrifying than being woken up out of a dead sleep at like four o'clock in the morning to hearing the wettest, most violent, disgusting sounding shit happening in the tank, literally feet away from your bed. And it smells so bad. It smells like... It smells so awful because it's just contained in there. So literally when it happens, you have to get up and take care of it right then or else like the next time you go into the tank, it will hit you in the face. Just that smell. Um, whenever Faye does it, thankfully, thankfully, both snakes only poop in their hides they don't like i've heard horror stories about snakes like spraying poop everywhere and thankfully i have good ones they don't do that um but what Faye will do is it's always a dead giveaway that she has pooped when she has moved from the area that she is normally in as if to say okay i'm waiting on you whenever you want to clean this like Thank God she does that. Huxley will, like, he'll stay in his hide and it, that smell will just bake on him and I have to clean him. Like, why do I have to clean you, child? There's no need for it. You're so nasty. The phantom farter. Make it a two-part emote. What? <laughs> what? I love all these. I know someone who's snake. Oh my God. That would be so nasty. Though the bad thing about them pooping in their hides is that if this is so gross, if they're aiming the wrong way, it will hit the side of the hide. So then when I go to like lift up the hide, I can see it. Like it's not, it hasn't been soaking into the substrate. It's just, it's moist. It's still moist. It kills me. I'm I'm copying your your suggestion elemental and I'm putting it in the uh, <laughs> I'm putting it in the emote idea area. 
and I'm tagging my G-Man, and I'm just gonna be like... From Elemental. I'm, I don't know what your, what your Discord name is, but... Elemental Silver. If I could spell right. El Stop. Silver. He's gonna be like, what the fuck were you people talking about? Moist. Moist. <laughs> Levarin, you have a good night. Velestian, what is that? That's like an angry Elmo. He's cute. Thank you. Miss Paint Elmo. I have I have to give him the videos now. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? If if slash when animated, I want one of each snake wiggling. <laughs> what the fuck? He's so nasty. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm I'm putting these in the remote Discord. <laughs> Please to enjoy. He's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you sending me?" Guess who's struggling with a program assignment for college with about three more due in around thirty minutes. You need to jump on that. If I could write the paper for you, I would. I can barely write my name right now. Oh, the little angelic dolphin. Great conversation. <laughs> Just imagine having that conversation while we're playing something like, I don't know, like, what's a stupid ass board game? I don't know. I've never, I haven't played a lot of board games. Yay! Trauma! Like, someone was trying to be like, oh, do you remember an Uno? And, and people are now coming up with, with new rules for it, and Uno is, is, is clarifying rules that we've always had for all these years. I'm like, I've never, I've never played Uno. I've never played. They're like, what? I'm like, hi, poor. We did. We, that, that was money. We didn't. We didn't have money for Uno. And no, I haven't played it since. Then. <laughs> Sorry, I've been busy working for the last twenty years. Omar, or Omarmo? Did I say that? Omarmo? Omarmo. Hi, how are you? Uh, we are waiting for Queeb to join us so we can play marbles. We want to play marbles. Candyland, that's the one I was thinking of. And Shoots and Ladders. Everyone I've ever known is best card by Monopoly. I only got to play Monopoly a few times as a kid. Like, obviously, like, the base version. None of this fancy, like, Mrs. Monopoly bullshit. Fuck that. Um, and it was always just an awful experience. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, tr like tragic or, or like scarring but it was it was like not fun people have to be in the right mind frame to play that game <laughs> someone uh, fuck there was like some someone who like said um oh fuck what was it L like replacing something L like changing one of the the rules. I I don't remember what it was. I I'm sorry. I have slept since then. It might be what I don't no. I don't think it's what Elemental is talking about. But yeah, like all I want to know is we need to repeat this whole snake poop combo when Queep gets back. He missed out. He's heard it before. He's like <laughs> he heard it. Before. He won't- he once woke me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> Get it together, Miss Queeb, come on! He woke me up and he was like... I think there's something going on with Huxley. 
And I'm like, what? And as I said, what? Coxley just lets out this big wet wish. It's like, what the fuck did you wake me up for? <laughs> And I'm like, he's 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 either farting or he's shitting. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, it sounds like a massacre. It is a massacre. It's so sad. <laughs> Poor baby. And it's just like like duck quacking. <laughs> duck quacking. Free parking bullshit. No one ever does the auctions. That that is interesting. I wonder if people in people in general, if people just don't let like if if normal people who don't have traumatic childhoods, if they sit down with their families and they just they they don't look at the rules at all and they just play the game how they've seen people play the game. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what, what is it? Today's the 13th. Have we had an alien announcement yet? I'm waiting for my parents to come get me. Take me home. It, it's always the same fucking links every time. One week ago... Let's see. Are we closer to understanding UFOs? What to know about the congressional report? Fucking give it to me already. Um. No, it's like no. We're we're still waiting. We are still waiting. My parents are never coming to get me at this point. For Eleven days. Eleven days ever do. 13 days overdue. In case you are curious, um, on one of the stimulus bills that was signed at the end of December, um, I, I love how when people write these bills, they purposely write them so big so that nobody reads them. So one of the things that was slipped in was that um, the government would have until June 1st to release all information acquired regarding UFOs or someone at the Pentagon was going to leak <laughs> all of the information that they have acquired over <laughs> for the years <laughs> basically blackmailing the government into doing it so apparently no one has really been talking about this except in the last month or two when they're like, oh yeah, remember that one stimulus bill we had? It was like the $2.9 billion thing that was put into action. Yeah, this was in that. So everyone is literally just waiting to find out. And by everyone, I mean my people, obviously. I just want my parents to come get me. If they show up, I'm taking you. <laughs> no. And since since this has been released, people have thought um, they they've been like, oh, um, they're like like one of them. There's so many conspiracy theories. It, there's there's so many that I'm flustered, and I like they're all flooding my head right now, and I can't spit one out. Like one of them is that we have a peace dream. <laughs> I'm not high, I promise. I'm not high, and I don't drink. Th this is natural. Um, we have a peace treaty with the aliens, like the aliens, and it doesn't say which aliens. We have a peace treaty with them, and several high-ranking officials in the U.S. government, as well as around the world, are aliens. And they are there <laughs> to make sure that we don't fuck up enough. Like... a. Uh, Apparently, they have a vested interest not in us, but in the planet. And they don't... They don't want to kill us? I mean, come on, please. 
don't make me beg. Um, <laughs> they don't want to do anything like that. They they literally just want to make sure that we don't use nukes because the the nukes it it like destroys the ozone and all of that shit, poisons the earth. <laughs> And then there was, like, an announcement a few weeks ago. Actually, I think it was, like, at the end of May. Where they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're living in a simulation. We have proof. It's like, what? How do we have proof that we're in a simulation? What the fuck? And it, it's... Like... Just tell me right now about the... Like, we know about the aliens. We know... We know. We just... And I think for some people, they need to hear the government, the government, say that there is a such thing so they can start believing it. I think they've been here forever. They've been spying on us. It's all one big treatment. It absolutely is. I don't need aliens to tell me that humanity... Like... There's also this rumor... Rumor? Rumor? That... The billionaires are going, they're, they're trying to get off the planet because they see that the aliens are coming and, and they think that the planet is fucked. So they want to get to Mars as soon as possible. Like what? <laughs> please go. Jeff Bezos, please fucking go and leave us the fuck alone. Um, but I... I think if in my in my professional opinion I am not a lawyer I'm not your lawyer uh, I'm not a doctor I'm not your doctor um, this is for entertainment purposes only I think that they will like, like I think if the aliens have not attacked us by now if they haven't fucked up our shit by now I don't think they're going to. And I think that they will actually be what kind of helps pull us together because of all the stupid ass fighting. Like 50% of America lives below the poverty line. Like what? Like what the fuck? And I think the aliens, the aliens, I think they will help guide us. I think that is that is what I believe. Oh, I like that. It's so cute. That is adorable. That is some please please go and stay go. <laughs> That's some doge coin shit. I know, right? Like I mean, there, there, there was this one report, or this one story that came out that said um, Elon Musk said that he wants to die on Mars. Okay, go die. Leave us alone. Did you know that he owns, like, what is it? He owns 25% of all Dogecoin? Like, go. Leave us alone. Like let let the earth have a chance so like like the the rich people have been in power too long let the poor people get in power and try to fix some shit because this is some bullshit here's the deal as an external watching the government's activities my whole life and an internal dealing with their finances as a contractor i don't think we as a nation or the world have the ability so i've had this conversation with someone before I think smoking some real good weed, man. No, I'm not. I think only a select few know. I think Trump knows. I don't think he's been told the extent, but I think he knows just because of remarks he's made. I cannot tell you what those remarks are. I have slept since then, but there have been remarks that he has made. I don't think a lot of people know because of exactly what you said. If people knew, shit would get out. Like, we as a society are not, like, as a whole, we are not prepared. I'm prepared. You're prepared, maybe. 
I know people prepared. I think that a lot of, at least in, in this country, I think a lot of Americans, they, I mean, just look at the shit that we've been going through the last several years. They are not, like even the last year, they're not mentally ready to handle something like that. And I think that may be why we haven't been told about alien interaction sooner. I like that these reports are coming out. I do want to know. I do think our society needs to progress. Like, I'm looking at you, 1950, predicting that the year 2000 is the year of the motherfucking rocket car. I want my fucking rocket car. I want my hover boots. So I do think that we could have been on that track and then something fucked up for whatever reason and we've just been like kind of taken off track. And what was, what, what's uh, Star Trek's data first contact? Isn't that like 2064 or some shit? I think that's way too far in the future. I think first contacts like, like first, excuse me, first official contact, I think it will happen much sooner, like much sooner. Either way, I'm pretty sure civilization capable of interstellar travel would not work. So, one of the one of the many many things, and, and apparently, side note to all of this, this shit has been talked about in other countries' media to such a, a greater extent than it's talked about here. Like it, it's it's laughable. Uh, I wanted was it? Why am I so fucking tired? It's India or or a similar place with a space program. They have said like they've made reference to the Galactic Federation. Like, they came forward and, and mentioned it. There's a reason why Americans have been kept in the dark as long as they have. Because we're fucking idiots. As a whole, everybody in this chat is really fucking smart. But you know how it is. Honey, you're not just smoking the weed, you're taking the bottle water. <laughs> Charm really. That is true. That is true. But I do think that he... He has been told just because that's one of the things that's one of like, that's one of the presidential secrets. I think he does know. And that was one of the reasons like, like there, there have been all these things like assassination plots and whatever against him. And I think it's because they were scared. He would say too much. This is not me or my theories. This is like what I've heard in, in the news. Um, we're just going to find out there's a lot. Of shit in the sky we can't explain because the AF uses cameras worse than the adopted. <laughs> so one of one of the things, like one of the reports that they've given, or, or rather, back up one one of the the rumors, allegedly, supposedly for entertainment purposes only, was that there was. Um, there was a ship at sea and it got surrounded by like 15 or 20 alien ships. And it, I'm using, I'm using the world's biggest quotey fingers here. It just so happens that they had a camera crew on, on ship that night. And the footage that I've seen has just been like remarkable. Like, are you using webcams for from 2004, sir? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm an idiot, trust me, I know, but I'm a software idiot, so I'm wondering. <laughs> what do you mean? It's clearly a giant tic tac, therefore it's now an identified flying object. <laughs> oh my god, like. Look, here's, here's what it comes down to. I want. I want all of my friends and their families to be able to pay for food. And I want everyone to be able to go to bed every night in a warm bed with running water and food and 
they actually enjoy their lives and there's no debt and medical bullshit is like a thing of the past like we we have like like the the cure for cancer has been released and nobody is in any pain anymore that's that's literally all i want like i want i just want people to be able to enjoy their lives because life is more than this fuckery zoe lynn i hear you i know you're whining so you're just gonna have to sit there and be quiet for a second okay give me a minute because i gotta make sure that chat is pulling up <laughs> fucking chat on my phone is so stupid it's like oh yeah we have th 31 people are in chat no sweetie like the fuck it's like the worst fucking app of all fucking time aliens will fix all of that for me seriously seriously and like some um some christians well, I don't want to put it all on Christians. It's like that variety. They say things like the aliens will come here and they'll experiment on us. And they'll want to have sex with everybody. And it's going to be disgusting. It's like, dude, there's already rumors that aliens had sex with monkeys. <laughs> and, and that's why we are the way we are. Like, there's already that rumor. Come on, let's go. You got your baby? Okay. If you wake up that kid, I swear to Christ. You got him? Quebus? I love you. Taking your child out again. She has to take the- it's not her, it's the baby. She has to take the same baby out. <laughs> okay, hold on. There we go, hold on.
have all I did was I flipped from Twitch back to the Discord. And when I switched back, all the chat messages are gone. It's just like, hey, what chat? Fuck you, piece of shit. Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you. I was trying to find that. I'm like, Elemental posted something, but I don't remember if it was Elemental or, and I don't remember what it was. Thank you very much. I'm scared to click on that link. I'm so scared. Okay, let me get rid of the video and go back to chat only. That way I don't have to hear my annoying ass voice in my ear.
Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Is Ms. Queep still here? How's everyone doing? What's going on? Thank you for waiting. Hey, Shavino, great to see you. Hello, Valestian Hammer. Once again. What, uh, how was your Sunday today? Dragon fruit, yes. Yes, it is. That is for sure. I like it. It's not as good as winterberry was or cranberry, obviously. But it'll do for now. It's Monday for you. Are you in the future? Oh. Hello, McQueeb. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? A little frustrated by technology, so that that just means it's a day that ends in Y. You know how it is. Mm. Ten minutes until Monday. We've got a lot of people in the future here, Ms. Queeb. How are you? I'm feeling much better. Good. Yeah. Totally didn't decide to follow after watching two hour Noita wand guide video. <laughs> that was fun. The mod creator of that one was uh, is a genius. I don't know how he pulled it off, but it's awesome. The void cracks skin is in the shop right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Where else is a time dolphin meant to live? I, uh, I was watching uh, Dolphin Chemist today, actually. Speaking of, he's playing uh, Into the Breach, which is a game... I, I never got into it that much, but it, uh, it came out from the same devs that uh, did FTL. Um, I might actually enjoy it. I, I never gave it a chance. I don't know why. But here we are. Game Capture... S-N-K-R-X. It's not a deck builder, no. Um, it's very much like the last spell. As Dolphin Chemist would put it, the last spell, but with robots. It's like giant mechs battling on a on a small, uh, like 12 by 12 grid or something like that. Much darker voice than Miss Queebs. Um, she's got a lovely voice. She doesn't like it. I do. Um, it's not necessarily that I don't like it. It's that I, I don't need to hear it. Well, I do. And I, I don't like inform like. I don't like people talking more than they need to. And so when I hear my own voice with like a seven second delay, all I think is shut up, shut up, shut up. I already know this. I just said it. Shut up. Even though I know logically there is a delay. That and my voice sucks, but thank you. I appreciate it. I love that picture of Dan. Gee, that's that's a young Dan. It's going back a bit, huh? Guess it just grabbed 300 more coins. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. One more day to go. Well, one and a bit. We'll be going through till Tuesday. I'll probably try to stay awake as much as possible on Tuesday. Um, 
but then that's it. No more stream. Yeah, you'll find a way to add time. You're addicted. Want to do another month? You can do it. Have fun. Let's go, boys! Mm -mm. Elemental, thank you so much for joining us. That was super nice of you. Like, feel, feel free to do another month. Hat, like, good luck finding a mod to, to watch during the day for you. Um, I'm still going to need you to help take care of your kid who has yet to, to be around his father for more than 30 seconds at a time. Um, but yeah, do it. Elemental, seriously, thank you. Lifelong Gamer, hi, how are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. Which ones did you get? Oh, you got them earlier. Yeah, I don't think I'll, um... The arcane spell looks pretty cool. Do you get to preview it? Oh, you do. Oh, that is kind of cool. God, they're evil, aren't they? they? They know exactly how to make... Make that cash. Festive duel. Oh, that's a bit much. Electrifying. 150 coins. Nope. Gotta resist. Have to resist. Lifelong Gamer, tonight we're going to be playing a little bit of Marbles, Marbles on Strum. Um, maybe some Isaac and this new game that everybody keeps telling me to get. It's currently three bucks on Steam called Snickrux, S-N-K-R-X. Um, Snake Prescription. There you go. Um, I think it is, I think it's like Snake, but with, a, with an RPG roguelike twist. Uh, looks kind of interesting. Very super cheap. The graphics are very basic, but uh, it might it might provide us with a little bit of entertainment. We'll see. Um, there was a game that came out on mobile, and it was from shit. I did a review on it back in the day. I think. Um, oh god, was it Half Brick? No, we have to, we have to go back. We have to sort by reverse date on this one. It's thinking. Doesn't seem to be any of those. Oh, pangolin. That's how I learned about pangolins back in the day. I love them. They're like, they're probably one of my favorite animals. And it kills me that I can't hold one. Like I can't go give one a hug. Are they not allowed to be in the States? Or are they endangered? Both. Ah, okay. They are, it is my understanding that they are only allowed here if it's part of, um, essentially the ones that are confiscated coming into the country, there is a sanctuary that they are at, Okay. but it's, it's my understanding that it's like, it, it's basically hands off. It, it's where they go. They will never leave it. Um, a lot of times sanctuaries, they will 
loan or give out some of their animals to other rescues Uh so they can bring in new ones um and they won't even do that so yeah i'll I'll never get to shake a pangolin's hand and it kills me (laughs) it's something that brings me great sorrow do they have hands they have little hands yeah seriously go look they're they're amazing oh they're like little stubby feet they're oh, so they, they got claws that curl under. Oh, that's weird. It's like mm-hmm. kind of like a sloth. Yeah. The baby pangolins are, oh my God, my heart. Mm. They're so cute. I would curl up into a ball if I could. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I would. Uh, that's 99% of my day, girl. And just roll the fuck away. <laughs> Be like, nope, I ain't talking to you. Krona, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Krona um, out. I hope you. Um, I hope you get the responses that you need on your tests. Krona, I'm. I am about to start a, a game. Don't um, don't taunt him. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. I get it. Um, it's it's just you wouldn't like it anyway. It's it's this game called Marbles or something. I don't know. It's weird. I found it. It's my review from eight years ago. Yeah. So it's a take on the snake game. Um. There you go. If you want a little bit of. Uh, nostalgia, that's me doing a mobile video game review eight years ago. I'm shocked you still have it and you haven't deleted it. Well, a lot of, a lot of those ones I didn't delete because I was proud of the work that I did. Like it's, it's different than my content now. I'm, I'm, I'm a human now. Uh, but back then it was, um, yeah, well, I don't know. It was good put a lot of work into those like each one would take me at least a day anyway that's kind of what this game reminds me of um just on surface level not knowing anything about it at all obviously the graphics are very different all right what are we what are we doing oh yeah we're gonna have a game of marbles marbles So, Sir Finite, the there was a video game back in the day that I did a review on. It was Pangolin was the name of it, or something. Pangolin Rush, or I don't know, something. And it was like a pinball game, but you played as the as the pangolin, and you had to bounce them around because they're a, they're a ball. It was just a thematic pinball clone. That's all. We saw an anaconda today. It was a bit bigger than our kids. There's only one okay. anaconda that we can talk about, and uh, the amazing Cajun voice over by Sir John Voigt. Stop. Stop it. No signal. No, there's definitely a signal, McQueeb. There we go. Let's move that webcam over. Oh yeah, we're gonna hide in the corner. Marbles on stream, eh? Oh, I better sign in. How many, pick, Just so, pick, hello. pick a number between five and ten, Ms. Queeb. Six. Six races it is.
have no back seating and no spoilers written below the stream. Have I changed my mind? Or is that wrong? Because if you remember correctly, I never used to care. So I, I encourage open discussion about uh, gameplay mechanics. Um, but after Final Fantasy VII and the mess that that stream was, uh, yes, we have a very strict no back seating, no spoiler rule whenever I deem necessary. Um, I just left them up there. They can obviously be removed for this because, um, no, I don't, I don't mind if you play or talk about marbles or give best practices or ruin the story of marbles for me. It's fine. But boy, oh boy, did chat fuck up Final Fantasy VII Remake for me. I'm still pissed off about it. I'm still pissed off. Everyone's talking about these games from E3. Well, you you were asleep all day. You didn't see any of the trailers. That's true. It's hard for people to distinguish between analyzing a plot and just giving away a twist. Even analyzing a plot in a streamer's chat that has no, like, no talking about the game. Like, come on. No. So, Leon, there's a section where you meet Red 13. And as soon as I saw him, my eyes lit up. I was so excited. Um, and somebody said uh, two things. One said, uh, this isn't the Red 13 that you remember. And I was like, oh, that's that's weird. Um, and then second, it's somebody goes, yeah, it's a shame they didn't let him be playable um, because of some kind of issue the devs were having at the time. Then we got to the last fight of the game. And someone said, oh, one boss down, two to go. I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not... You know, I don't hold those people responsible, but, you know, it's it's a thing on Twitch. Even coming in and saying stuff like, has he seen the bit yet? It's like, well, now I know there's a bit coming up. <laughs> and if it's Final Fantasy VII, I probably know what that bit is. You missed it the 12 was. stream? It's it's all going up on YouTube. Everything's going up on YouTube. Um, there'll be a few segments missing because I'll have to edit them manually. But um, it's it's all good. They'll, they'll be up there. It's all good, Magisto. Miss Quib was about to say something about it. Miss Queep. Chewing now. You're going to have to wait a second. She's chewing now. I'm going to have to wait a second. Uh, no, I haven't watched the Devolver Expo either. I'll, I'll be catching up with all of that. How would I compare what happened with Final Fantasy VII Remake with, like, discussing themes or whatever? It depends. Those conversations can get out of control very, very quickly. Do you know what I mean? Like, we'll start on something very surface level, like, oh, it's it's interesting to, like in Crash, for example, it's interesting to see that they've got um, the same character, but in an alter, alter, alternate dimension, they're a different gender, right? Um, versus, yeah, that's because... Dr. Nefarious invented some kind of uh, gender changing machine and do you know what I mean? Like it's, it goes from, from zero to a hundred in no time flat. And by the time I've read it, it's already too late. Okay. <clears throat> so my main problem <laughs> It's easy to say shit. It, like it's it's very easy to say to say a remark about the game, like like out of excitement. Like, has he gotten to the part yet? Like, I can I can let some things slide. What really pisses me off, or pissed me off rather, but I guess it still does, 
is that people were arguing about what is considered a spoiler. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so I I had woken up early that day because I was covering. So I'm like I'm I'm barely like involved. I'm sitting on the couch behind the green screen behind Queeb. And he he's like invested in this game. Like he was he was watching some cutscene, and chat is just scrolling just super fast. Like people are just like frantically talking. And it took me a second to realize that they they were spoiling the game. They were actively spoiling the game, and they were having discussions. And so I said something like, um, "I don't think Queeve has played this, so." I need you to keep spoilers out of chat. You even created a Discord, right? Yes. I need him to enjoy the game. Like this, he has wanted this. This is no spoilers, no backseating. Do not spoil it, please. I was super polite about it. And things quieted down for about 30 seconds. (laughs) And then it piped back up and people would say something like, oh, um, is is that one part coming up and like the word one would have asterisks by it like is that one part coming up and someone said something like no no no, he has to fight this one guy and then it's coming up and i'm i'm sitting there and i'm like it, it, this it, this isn't difficult i promise it's not i don't know why this is going on and they kept making those same remarks and like someone would say something no you can't say that that's a spoiler and then the person would say it's not a spoiler it would be a spoiler if i said blah 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 (laughs) (laughs) and so donkey jim jumps in and he's like hey no spoilers Tweeb hasn't played this he wants to enjoy it again they quiet down for about 30 seconds to a minute and they they pipe back up And it gets to so bad of a point that I have to put chat on emote only. I've never had to do that. I understand when people are so excited for the game that they cannot contain themselves. However, it is my belief. Queeb has told me many times that this channel is just as much mine as it is his. If that were true, from now on, during pivotal parts of games chat would be in emote only because i understand that you get excited and you want to know if he's at a certain part i i completely get it but it gets to a point where you're you're spoiling it Uh, i don't know what the game is but it looks like participation so not only not only did we have the the words themselves which have consequence and meaning right but now I've got mm-hmm. this situation that I'm thinking about on top of battling Sephiroth. And and I'm mm-hmm. just like Yeah. How did how did we get here? Like I was I was enjoying this. I was having a great time. And there and- was this one part where I I made a remark. Like someone said, um, it doesn't matter, Queeb isn't watching chat. And I said <laughs> Yeah, I am, I see I- everything. <laughs> I'm like, I I wouldn't watch chat either if you guys are spoiling this game that I've been super hype about. And you said, um, yeah, they, they spoiled me a long time ago. I don't know what's wrong with people. And then chat starts arguing over who spoiled it and what was said to spoil it. And it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what was said. It matters that it was said. Again. I completely understand if you are so excited that you cannot prevent your tiny little little hands from typing something on your little little keyboard, I understand. Yeah. In that case, I will make the decision for you and I will put it on emote only. Yeah. All right. We have 69 people watching right now. That is perfect. (laughs) No, because it's an internet number. And it is an internet number. It couldn't possibly mean anything else. Did Anime Daddy just join? Did we get him in? He just joined. What's up, dude? He's my bro. Did you make the remix yet? I need the remix. What's the remix? 
What you know someone, about rolling down uh, in the deep. Someone someone remixed Castaways with I forget some some song from the nineties, some R and B song from the nineties, and it was amazing. And I tagged him in the comment and he's like, Oh, I gotta make one. And that was like a month ago. Wait, anime, you produce music? I didn't know that. I don't know, apparently. Chavino, please make a cover, McQueeb. <laughs> Probably already get a DMC DMCA strike just for singing that. Probably. I made the mistake of going to one of the Marvel movies with someone. Oh my god. I do have to say. I do have to say that um Queeb and I the second movie that we saw together was the Star Wars number seven, like whichever one that is. And he had already seen it. He saw it opening night. And he wanted me to see it with him, even though I'm not a fan. He did not spoil a single bit of it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> like, I would ask general questions because, hi, I have insecurities and I need to know how everything ends before I watch it because that is a trigger that I'm working on desperately. He would not spoil it for me at all. I was in a band and produced, played with garage band. I could mix, but quote, produce is a strong word. RNG says, did you play the banjo anime, daddy? <laughs> Velflam making it through to the exit. Nicely done. Half, right half the group got yeeted straight away. Yeet! Magisto, right? Like... He, he was just like, it didn't even, it, it wasn't even one of those things where he's like, do you want me to tell you? Like, if you, if you want me to tell you, I'll tell you, but only if you want me to tell you and then I'll tell you, but I won't tell you unless you, you say you want me to tell you. That's it the one I was looking like at. That. Yeah. That's the little pyramid. That's cool. Karate and friendship coming in last place. Well, Karate and friendship. technically he's not last. My lady is the same way and wants me to spoil everything for her, but I cannot do it. It's not necessarily that I want something spoiled. It's that I've I've been jarred too much by animal violence, like sexual violence, bad endings, endings that just like, like not just bad endings, but it like leaves on this like horrible cliffhanger that doesn't even make any sense. Um, bad plot holes. And so I've gotten into the point, I've gotten to the point where I, um, I'll look stuff up on wiki and I'll like read the ending mm -hmm. and then I'll go to that web there's like a website you can see does the dog die and it'll tell me if like any animals were harmed it's like very cool who won that Val Val congratulations Val Archers, in French. I thought you would take a break oh I'm going oh. through till Tuesday that's I meant I meant to do again my fucked up math in my head I meant to go from the 14th to the 14th, which is 31 days. And then I thought, like, the stream starts late in the day, so it's going to go through till technically the 15th. Um, there you go. Creep. That's okay. You know what? If you decide to call it Monday, then you call it Monday. It's fine. I'll call it whatever the fuck I want. You'll call it whatever the fuck you want, because technically you have gone over 30 days. Technically... Technically, at midnight oh one tonight, it is the fourteenth. So you could technically end the stream then because you did say June fourteenth. I, I never get over some of these people have um, channel point redemptions for ending the stream, uh, and some of them are set at a million. But we've got we got people in here with three hundred k plus channel mm -hmm. points, right? Um, I have five hundred forty thousand. Damn, really? Do you ever click on the little? The prize? Ah, uh, okay. But there's like, there's nothing good. And the only time that I've tried Excuse to spend me, my what? points. Repeat what you just said. There's nothing good for me. You could give away I don't, gift subs? I don't. You could name a rat? Number, number one, I tried to name a rat and you returned my points to me. So shut up. Number two, if I wanted to give a sub, I would do what I've done before and just give a sub. I wouldn't re like I wouldn't exchange my own channel points for that. I would just pay for it. Well, I think they're pretty good. 
They are, but for me, I I don't use emotes. Like the only emote I use is like the Fey emote. You know, you could have whatever emote you wanted, right? (laughs) Just give me the image and I'll upload it. (laughs) I know. Oh, speaking of, we, me and chat collectively have decided that we need two snake fart emotes. Snake farts? Snake fart emotes. I showed them the videos and they have already been uploaded to that my Gmail. That hilarious, right? <laughs> it's like, they're like, like, they're like, we need to tell McQueeb this. I'm like, no, let me tell you a story. McQueeb knows now. I told him the story about you waking me up in the middle of the night. You're like, something's wrong with Huxley. What's going on? And he just like lets out this wet wipe. It's just so nasty. And I'm like, oh, it's just, it's just Huxley. He's, he's taking a shit. It's so nasty. Like it's, it's so nasty. Why not Why view not- my stream point reward? What do you mean by that? Like you would, like you would pay like a hundred k, and then he would view the stream, or he would host or something. Oh. Oh what? I just check out another viewer. I guess it would de- it would depend. That's that's kind. Of, mm, that makes me feel a bit weird. Like, is there an expectation there? I mean, I think. This is my opinion as someone who is not a streamer, but I have watched McQueeb stream most nights and I've interacted with a lot of you. I think if someone has an active stream and they're an active part of the channel, granted, we have been in the middle of a subathon, so some people may not know this, but what Queeb will do is he will frequently, I, I would think every single night, there's probably a few nights in there that he doesn't do it, but he almost always ends his his stream raiding someone. Yeah, I drop a raid, but here's the thing with raids, right? Like I have to know the person, mm-hmm. I have to know their content. Those two things are very important. And not only that, but like the vibe, the vibe mm-hmm. or the game, preferably both, would match this stream to some degree, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do think I'm formulating. Hold on. Are we waiting for anybody else or? I'm just going to, I'm going to go okay. give 10 seconds and then I'll click the button. I think, I think it would be fun to have like a bullshit stream and people who volunteer their VODs or their streams, like, like stopping in and like, if there was a way for you to like stop in and say hello and like, just kind of view what's going on. And what, rebroadcast or? Not, not necessarily rebroadcast, but like, I don't know, like I, I'm really fascinated by seeing how people run their stream. Sure. Like, there's no rules. So it's kind of like, do whatever you want. I mean, yeah, so it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's really fascinating to me. So if there was like some way where people, obviously people would need to sign up for something like that, just, you know, um, but if there was some way just to, just to even like stop in and just kind of not necessarily spy on them, but like see how they run their stream. Oh, I, I do that anyway. That's, but we uh, don't see you do that. Oh, I get it. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. That's what that's what I'm saying. That like, comes that comes with inherent risks as well. Anime Daddy, what the hell? Look at you. Look at McQueeb though. Holy shit. McQueeb, what is going on? What you on, know sir? about rolling down in the deep. Strike. Oh, that's my kid whining. It's always rigged. Oh, it's never not rigged. Bad corner. McQueeb, what are you doing? McQueeb. What the fuck is that? Quibus. Now my G-man's a- come on, man. Oh, you're slowing down. What the hell? I think everybody's slowing down. It's just the way the map's designed, I guess. You're in front. Yeah, but- right, but everybody just piled in in front of you. Like, how is that? That's my question. Well, I hit- I hit the angle wrong on the corner. I took mm-hmm. a bad line, so it, that's where I lost a lot of speed from. 
to my humble little ball. Oh snap! There's people in the diner. I didn't. I didn't even notice that. There's little marbles inside mm -hmm. the diner. I like that. Like, look at me. I don't. I don't need any fancy skins. I don't need that witch hat. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't. I don't but need imagine, that alien imagine trail. how good you'd look if you had the witch hat. I wouldn't play enough to make it worth my time. I beg to differ. You've been in thirty games now. It's only thirty. I'm only thirty. We've only spent six hours doing this. Like I'm, like I've said before, it, it's too passive. It's, it's too passive. Um, if I had, like, the only way I would actually pay is if I could actually... Um, Let's do some Call of Duty duos or something, then. That's pretty active. Stop! We got one coming down to Tomato Town. He's knocked. That's what they say. Do you know what you're saying? No. Miss Queeb takes the podium. What do you mean stuck? No, no, no. You straight through. That was great. Dude, you forget. I have a delay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. I did that. Our in gamers coming in second. Let's see if he <laughs> makes like it through this spinner. <laughs> straight Thank through. Our in gamer know. second Thank place. <laughs> Third is. Oh, the oh, upset. God. Becoming Kyle. Well done. Becoming Kyle, that is a crazy username. <laughs> Krona is absolutely rigged like 4,000%. <laughs> I don't understand this one at all, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Um, People are interested to see where a snake's butt is. That is their cloaca. I don't have a snake candy to show you. It's but... about two inches above the tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they also have, um, we affectionately call them butt claws. They are vestigial legs. They're left over from evolution. Um, all, all snakes have them, but especially ball pythons. So it literally looks like, like butt fangs. Yeah, uh, cloaca, it's, it's literally one hole for everything. For con it's then, convenient. Snakes are built for efficiency. They are. And then for um, boys, their hemipenes are tucked inside. Uh, Jen, I don't know how to say your name. I'm just going to say Jen's. So the tail is the last inch. So people look at snakes and they're like, oh, it's a whole tail. It's not a whole tail. So from the head to, and then the neck is like very narrow, where the neck starts to flare out and get larger that is considered like the the neck and head of the snake so then the back half like that little tiny little tail that's like an inch and a half or so long that's actually the tail and then the rest of the snake that's the snake's body and <laughs> it's not a problem <laughs> It's very comical to be in a bunch of um, snake groups on Facebook. I actually had to drop out of most of them because it destroyed me how many people would just randomly buy a snake without knowing anything about the proper care or setup. And they would mm. just be like, oh, the snake looks cool. I'll pay for it. And then they get in this group and they're like, hey, so I got this snake and there's like this weird slit. Like, what is that? Bitch, that that that's his butthole. Wouldn't you like, just <laughs> wouldn't you just Google it? You'd find the answer in thirty seconds. No. Like, Be, no, because you're you're not a lot of people actually Google. As as someone who's been doing Twitch for almost two years now, it's like I take back what I just said because most people mm -hmm. most people don't want to do any research. They don't. They want someone to give them the information. I feel way more invested in these marbles than I should be. Have you even met Krona? Get on his level, lifelong gamer. Krona is like a beast. Krona has stocks in the company now that, that makes uh, marbles. <laughs> I bet he does. I think he's a priority shareholder now. <laughs> Whenever they want to make a serious change to the game, they call him up on the hotline. Hey, what do you think about this idea? 
Oh. I love Krona. Krona's amazing. Could have Googled I mean, snake butt too, <laughs> just getting into the parasocial thing. <laughs> you're, you're fine. It's a, it's a valid question. But it's also... I can understand... So at least for myself, there are things I will not Google. Because number one, I know what the secret is to Googling. And I don't want to randomly see something I don't want to see. Like... Like what, if I Google, what is the hole on a snake? I don't want to see potentially like traumatizing photos. Mm -hmm. So I like, like the whole secret to Googling, I'll tell, I'll tell everybody right here. The whole secret to Googling is not Googling what you want. It's Googling what you think other people would search for. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's, that's where you're going to find the most answers. Incidentally, that's also the way to tag your YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Not with what you think they should be tagged with, but what other people put yourself mm -hmm. in other people's shoes. Exactly. Um, so it, it's kind of like, like how how would my mother search for it? Is what I normally say to myself it, because that, that's like baseline, bare bones. What's this? What's the hole on a snake? Like that's exactly what she would Google. I don't think anything hardcore would come of you googling snake blood, but who knows? No, knowing like it, it's probably a fetish. I have no doubt. Oh, it's it's rule thirty four. If it's on the internet, exactly, it exists. Yeah. Uh, God, yes, my family's the same way. They know I'm good with computers and software, but they ain't do shit themselves because they know I'm able to fix it, even though it would take them less than two Facts. minutes. Facts. It is. There was a guy that I I used to work with. He he was like in his seventies or eighties, and he was a realtor and. He could not figure out how to do an attachment on an email. He didn't understand Fucking hell. that with Outlook and with Gmail both, you can simply drag, drag it over. He did not understand. So what he was doing was he was typing the name of the, of the file at the bottom of the email. And he's like, I don't know why it's not attaching. I did the thing. I, I typed the name. I'm like, who told you to type the name? Nobody. He, he just, he assumed. Because people people don't know, so they either won't Google out of, out of spite, or they just make some shit up. Shavino, oh, Shavino didn't get know. the didn't get the good angle there. Takes them more time to ask me, and what exactly? Yes, Queeb, go, son. <laughs> You're part of yourself as Queeb. The fuck. Boom! 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 Hold me close, a creepy dancer. Got stuck. Queeb, your disappointment to the family. Slacto Queen. smashes me out and is off. It's me and Donkey Jim at the final. Who's going to take it? Don't know. You're going to tell me Jim. before it happens. I'll take that was a second very loud place, knock. I'll guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Congratulations to uh, Donkey Jim and McQueen at number two. Becoming Kyle. I think you can get, if you're lucky, coming down those ramps, you can just bounce from one to the other without hitting those little uh, bollards. Psychomantis. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it is Sunday after, after all, so he's just enjoying his time. Just a nice little jaunt. Taking it easy. I tried to get a friend to send me a PDF link today. Their response, what's a peg link? Jesus, come on. Like, it's uh, it's just, it's people. It's people being people. That's all. It's, it's people being people. Nothing shocks me. So I've gotten to the point where whenever I I am formulating an email to, and, and I say this with all the love and respect in the world, an older person, I make sure to use basic fucking language. And I just assume they don't know anything mm -hmm. because again, I don't like repeating myself at all. It really pisses me off. I want to expend the least amount of energy, which is fantastic to know because I talk my ass off. So who knows? Can we try a round of boosts? Sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind. We'll do that after. What? I don't exactly know how it works, but we'll figure it out. My 
Oh, Winter's here. Hey, Winter, what's up, dude? Whenever I hear you say Wintu, I think you mean Winto. Oh, that's right. There's two that are very similar, similarly named. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Well, either way, they're both good people. They are. Absolutely. Let me go turn the air off real quick. I'll be right back. Jins, there's a Mintu? Oh, man. McQuib, how'd I beat you on that last one, Hacker? You completely hacked that one, Jim. I mean, <gasps> Captain Crunch! Yes! You know what, my G-Man? Between that and the snake fart videos I sent you earlier, I think you're doing great. Mintu is mint in Finnish. Really? Interesting. I mean, and, uh, that makes sense. I guess. Oh, this is an interesting course. It's got some interesting uh, obstacles up ahead. It's quick. It's basic. Less than a minute. It's a, it's a girl's name and also a nice Finnish alcoholic drink. Really? I'm getting a lot from chat. Uh, my G-Man, are you cup cereal gang or are you bowl cereal gang? Be honest. It's okay. You can say bowl cereal gang. I won't hold it against you. I'll just be very sad. Uh, exclamation mark play. If you would like to join, I'll give you 15 seconds before I hit the button. Sad that I don't get to... I don't get to hold Huxley again for another week. He is a bowl man unless he's out of bowls, then he has no shame. Leon, I'm telling you, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. Cup cereal. It is phenomenal. Your crunch, you will never have to deal with like having to speed through eating a bowl of cereal before it gets too soggy. It's perfect. What do you mean speed through? Do you mean like regular speed? Like super speed through? Super speed I eat through. So you don't you don't know this, but I run the household. So anytime that my husband needs something, I have to stop what I'm doing and I have to go help him find something that's directly in front of his face. As a result, there have been many meals and many bowls of cereal that have resulted in soggy ass cereal. That is so disgusting, and I end up having to throw it out because that is vile shit. Vile. So, by using a cup, like one cup of milk and one cup of cereal, and pouring a couple of spoonfuls of cereal into the cup at a time, you optimize your crunch ratio. Okay. It is perfection. I don't know. I managed to get through a bowl. You are the fastest eater I know. Like, there, like, listen to this. I cook. He does not cook. I cook. There have been times where I have made this man a plate and he has sat down to eat it. I turn around and I make my own plate. By the time I have sat down to start eating on my plate, he's already finished every time it is like the bane of my existence to make a meal for someone who can't even eat it with me sitting next to him it kind of pisses me off well we should discuss that we have not necessarily ad nauseum but it has been discussed so he is an extraordinarily fast eater There's nothing wrong with it. I am a slow eater, even by normal standards. You forget your wife has that choking thing that she has to deal with. Mm-hmm. Mm My G-Man at... I didn't catch the time there, but it looks like you may have taken the record for this, for this lap.
Man, that's a fast one. So, Krona's time was 1 minute 9 seconds. You were 1 minute 8. There you go. And your first win! My G-Man smashed it. Uh, Serve yourself first. Magisto, I... yes, you did. You I... did not finish. You fell off the map. Monkey, I have done that. However, by the time that I inevitably get back to my seat from giving him his meal, mine has started to go cold. It's like there is, there is no winning here. Like at all, unless it's like perfect timing across the board. And I've just... To be honest, I've given up on it because it's literally running household is fucking shit, man. We have like as as a super player in with us, the Great Kaiser. Who's the Great Kaiser? Uh, I don't, I don't. They're they've just joined us. Uh, Twenty four hundred and sixty nine points at the moment. Fourteen wins Pardon? from three hundred and ninety races. Pardon? Yeah, you I yeah, you heard. I'll have to check out their their marble if they play again. Buckshot. Now I've heard this map is quite good. Their marble. My G Man has like the worst jokes. I love it. It's so stupid. I love no, it. It's, I love it. It's a little Saturn. It's definitely one of those situ Oh, that is super cute. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. It is definitely one of those things where I, I have to decide. And there is no winning. Because it's, you know, I made him a meal. And I want to, you know, I give him the meal. That's cool and everything. And I want to have a meal with him. But it's like me having to get up and deal with the dogs and make sure the dogs are okay and they leave us alone and they're not disturbing us. And it's like all of these hurdles I'm having to go through to have a, number one, a hot, number two, meal, number three, next to my husband. Kaiser from DDR Jake's chat. I have no idea. Kaiser, if you are listening. Yeah, he's there. Oh, did I You're press the button? Let's press the I button. I don't know. Oh, is that the one that looks like Wilson from the movie Castaway? Castaways. Mm -mm. <laughs> DDR Jake is a good streamer. I love him. I had a similar issue with someone I was serious with. For a while, she would hold her food. I'm I'm at the point where I might do that. You can come in here, Zoe. Come on, you can come in. You can push it open. Babe, I don't I don't complain. If 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 you want to, you know, take care of me second, that that's no, fine. No, no, no. Listen, it is a situation that there is no easy correction. If I make my plate first, my food will start to cool. And by the time I have given you your plate and I deal with the dogs and get them situated again and everything good, my food has gone cold and I have to warm it. All right. Well, we'll we'll definitely be talking about this further. It's like it's because I'm interested in becoming a better human and hopefully now that I may have more time Everything, yes. everything will fall into place. It's all good. Speaking of, your 80-pound dog is sitting outside of the bedroom and cannot push the door open. Sweetheart, here, come inside. Here, come on up. It's okay, come on up. Contra, we did. We're, uh, we've started the next journey onto the next sub-goal, which is 2,500. Um, in the next couple of days, if we, if we make that through some miracle, we'll be playing Alien Isolation. Um, I do you even want to play? I am an alien fanatic. It's my favorite movie of all time. Um, mm -hmm. 
you're a franchise fanatic, not necessarily the game fanatic. Well, pick Fire one. Gamer, doesn't, thank you doesn't so really much. Matter. Dude, round number gang, thank you, man. Another four gifted <laughs> sub. You, you've just been a gift sub crazy. I think that's a term. How is the puppers doing? Um, he seems to. Mm, mm. So he's. So I, I, I am research queen. I don't like just. I don't know. I guess this is how it is. So I, I research stuff a lot and I ask professionals and whatnot. So I've based on that and what I remember from my talk with his former owner, lifelong gamer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, kind of determined that he was taken away from his mother too soon. And that is probably why he's biting so much because he hasn't been taught that he doesn't need to bite. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, it, it's... I mean, you've, you've seen those videos before of like lion lion mothers or tiger mothers and, and they're like pretending to like be surprised when their kid pounces on them. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. it, it, it's that same thing. He didn't get enough of that. Um, so... I'm going a lot slower with him. He's getting tons of love. Like I'm, I'm picking him up constantly, giving him kisses, making sure he's comfortable. Um, it does mean that he bites on me more. He got me really good yesterday. And then he bit me in the same spot like a few minutes later because he saw the band aid there. Um, but he, he knows a handful of tricks. Like he can sit on command um, he, we're still working on, on shake. He's kind of like a little weird about that one. He knows, like he, he is a smart dog, but I think he has been hand, handicapped because he was taken away so soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slack. Congratulations. Brennan tuning with a gift sub and lifelong gamer with a gift sub to Aaronopolis. Thank you, man. Thank you both. And hype train started. What? Oh, scam. Oh. It's a scam train. Is that what people call it? Mm hmm. That's the nickname it got almost immediately. Yep. Yeah. It's just excitement. That's all. It's just another way for, for Twitch. It's it's more engagement, which means more money for Twitch. So oh. it, it was a smart move for them to introduce it. Oh, absolutely. Hi, Zoe. You're fine. Um, but yes, so um, in, in answer, if things are going better. Um, I'm reinforcing nap time more. So he, he is still on the, the whole, like, he will be up for two hours and sleep for two hours kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, when do they grow out of that or, or start to equalize? Um, about anywhere from like three to six months. It depends on how active he is. Um, I mean, he's, he's right at three months, so it should be any time in the next three months where he starts to like, there, there are signs like he starts getting way more aggressive when he's tired. And so previously I, I wasn't picking up on that cue. And so now as soon as he starts getting aggressive, I pick him up, I kiss him on the head. I'm like, okay, night, night, see you later. And he goes in his kennel blanket goes down mm. and I do not touch him for a couple of hours unless he starts making noise like about 90 minutes after I put him down um yeah like I, I think he's gonna be a really good dog um he has his first vet appointment tomorrow or next week once he goes through that he gets in puppy classes Leon thank you so much Thank you for the 11 bits. That's great. Thank you, Corona. Same um, to you, man. He will uh, get thrown in puppy classes. Hopefully he will calm the, the crap down because I am so tired. I am so tired of the constant attention. I'm so over it. That's one reason why I want Quee back after the subathon because I need him to take over at least a third of these puppy mom duties because I am I am like fed up we'll have some uh, puppy queeb time puppy queeb to us doggy do he he totally needs one like he he needs to get on it all 
right, we're going to give it about 15 seconds and I'll hit the button. Definitely. Um... Oh, I didn't check. I need to check on new babies and see if my little boy has eaten because we know the little girl has. The Australian Shepherd was like hugging a raccoon for the first five months. Now oh she's a snuggle god. queen. Oh my god. That's that's the kind of dog that I that it was it's on my list. It, it's something about like they're I don't know, like they're just so cute. They're so fluffy. They're the like grey and like not spotted but like patchy ones, right? Most yeah. of the time. Yeah, they're it's called Merle. Um, and they usually have, um, at the very least, like one blue eye. Um, oh, to... they have heterochromia? Yeah. They're, like, with their fluff, they're probably as tall as Zoe is, but they have a lot of fluff. Like, they have an undercoat. Mm. But they're, like, super fucking expensive. Like, two to five thousand dollars. Well, we all know that Australians are quality, so... Well, uh, well, obviously. That's how my cat is. He resisted cuddles, but I'm persistent. Now he's a lap boy. That's kind of my strategy right now is to just love him into loving me. He 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 has met three of the neighbors on this property. He met uh, he met the other one today or one of the other men today. And he's like a completely different dog. Treats them with respect. <laughs> I'm just like, why aren't you biting them? You bite me all the time. Bite them. My demon, yes, absolutely. Like, I'm I'm dealing with it. Real neck beard, my arm and face covered in scratches. Mine is a merle with all oh, the green eyes. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, this is the one that Slice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slice Sissy smashed this yesterday. Got the new record. Australian was the kind with the black, brown, and white fur brown. That's... Oh, see, like, literally every Australian that I hear about, they all sound so beautiful. Like, they, it, it's just like that kind of dog. Like, they're all just so gorgeous. Hi. I know, I see you. You don't need to go anywhere. This You're is fine. such a random track. The fact that it stops you and then they then you get on this sort of weird bouncing physics bug on the way down is so so weird. Is it just this one that does it? Yeah, I mean well it's pretty janky physics for the entire game, but Do you need to go outside again? I need to go outside again. Jesus Christ. Contra's actually taking a good line. This is not bad at all. Appreciate the randomness a bit. It'll give people in the back. It's like, yeah, absolutely. Dog was a dachshund. Went camping with him. He whined to come out of his kennel at night. Ended up sleeping at the bottom of my sleeping bag. Oh my god. Why are dogs? Like, truly, why are dogs? Yep, this is the, this is the bouncing thing that I was talking about. They sort of hug the wall for a little bit, then they do a 45 degrees, and it's just weird. Contra, first place. What do we got? RN Gamer in second place? And then Sly Sissy, third place, maybe, as long as we can beat the, the Wall of Doom. McQueeb, come on, go! Oh, so close, fourth place. Between Ms. Queeb and Slacktail. Ms. Queeb takes it. I 
Okay, yeah, we're losing a lot of people back of the pack there. Donkey Jim is going backwards. Claims another one. And real neckbeard, will we make it? Wow. We might lose a lot here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chunk. <laughs> Sixty races I've done. That's cool. All right, let's see who is. Uh... Let's see who takes the podium here. Our end gamer day. third. Very nice. Slacto second, and Ms. Queeb for the win. What? I didn't even get to see it. I, I had to take Zoe outside again for like the fifth time in the last like four hours. Yeah, you, you took the first place on the podium. Fantastic. Very nice. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to thank, um, thank chat. Yeah. Thank you, chat, for everything you've done for me. I don't know. They're all saying I, it's it's rigged, so. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, my alien parents who apparently left me on this dying planet and won't come back and fucking get me. Like, what the fuck, really? But then again, if they hadn't left me here and abandoned me, I wouldn't be here to claim this win. So thank you. Hey, Aaron, thank you so much. Three months. How you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Um, all right, we'll try a few tracks here. This is boost mode. So you type in exclamation mark boost space and then a number. Boost power is from 1 to 650. How long am I going to go? Till Tuesday morning. Uh, sometime Tuesday, yes. Be 32 days, technically. Are you done? I don't think you are, dude. No, it's not, it's not a paid thing. Everybody gets a boost. I think they get two boosts per round. So we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll see what's up. Mm. Whatever. There's a lot of speed ups on here already. Interesting. I'm gonna, I'm on my phone, but I still have my laptop open. I'm gonna do command play. Someone tell me if they see me pop up. Since I yeah, that works. I can't view it. Okay, cool. Like I get literally no enjoyment from from typing that and and like doing a race that I can't see, but it's cool. No, but think of the think of the points, Miss Queeb. What what can I spend the points on? Nothing. No, they don't then, mean like, they don't mean a damn thing. No. That's what I thought. Hey, Ezra, how you doing? You're welcome to join, by the way. Exclamation mark play. That'll bring you in. We need a Ms. Queeb exclusive points thing. <laughs> we could have a... I... Let me think about that for a second. I'm just being logical. Like, I don't, I don't see you, but... I could have a button that yes. enters you into the race. I would just need you to sign into Twitch on my computer once. And I think I could do it from here then. But then wouldn't you have to, like, anytime you you logged in, would that, like, knock me out? No, no, no. No, no, no. This no, is, this it, is... wouldn't knock, it wouldn't knock the authorization out? Mm -mm. No, it's a different service. I think Twitch has a 30-day... Uh, what do you call it? Cookie or or security mm -hmm. certificate? So. Just like dollar right? like a Queeb gives, gives a random compliment to Miss Queeb. He gives me compliments all the time. Are and you kidding? In fact, She's there are queen. times where I have. <laughs> there are times I have to say, um, say something nice to me, and he does the something nice kind of thing, or he'll say, "Because I'm a funny guy." You're, you're so. 
Oh, funny. Such yeah. a dad. Uh-huh. Like the worst dad jokes. The worst. All right, so this is boost mode. Apparently, type exclamation mark boost and then a number, then a space, and then number one through 650. Once we get started, um, go ahead and do that. I guess. Whoa. So you type in a number between one and 650 or whatever. Yeah. I, again, I don't know how it works. We're going to have to watch and see what's going okay, on. Okay, I'm, I'm going to see what other people in chat are doing, and I'm just going to copy them and pick a different number. Okay. Aaron got invited to cast two more major tournaments. That is dope. Oh, that's amazing. All right, let's get this. Let's get this show on the road, huh? CK. <laughs> it's something about the cat ears and the cigarettes. It just makes that emote perfect. <laughs> It's so stupid. I'm tired. <laughs> Just really tired, you guys. Contra is way off the map. I think he tried to oh. get ahead there. Okay. I'm I'm typing the boost thing. What what is it between one and what? Six hundred and something? Six fifty. There we go. I don't understand what the numbers mean, but it's cool. Slacto's off. Aaronopolis is off. Jens makes it up. Holy shit. Nope. I take that back. I'm off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so obviously boost, boost 650 is a bad thing because it just thrusts you forward like um, quite a major degree. So you're better off taking it like a lot less maybe like 100 to 200 and then obviously you need to know where you are so i i won't be playing along on the next one but um lord of Troxus has it not going to boost 650 at the end there how come miss queeb nicely done whatever you just did that worked there's little, there's little I, uh, bollards, I think, along the way, so people are getting stuck a little bit. But here, here, here's what's going on. I have no idea. I'm not. I can't view the race. Well, you're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you have 650 points, and then you deduct that? Like, if I use 650 at the beginning, it's one and done. But I could do 200, 200, no. 250. So. It I don't think so because the first time I did 515 and then this last time I did 400. Well, you don't know what's happening on the other end. It might not have done anything. Maybe. I think I yeeted at the end. You can use 650 infinite times. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you just, you just, just keep spam. typing it. Oh, it's like a power meter. Okay. See, somebody needed to say that. Our, our Lord and Savior, Krona uh, 3265, did not give us that information. They just said, hey, let's try boost mode. So I'm trying, oh, no. I'm trying boost mode. Uh, Lord of Troxus, well done. Oh, we have so many lords here. We have Bread Lord, we have our Lord and Savior, Krona, we have Lord of Troxus, whatever. He's hiding in both. <laughs> Kerna, Kerna is very funny during the day like him and some, I forget who they get into like round number gang and prime number gang fights all the time and so at one point I forget who it was but like yesterday the day before they're like they're like Kerna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna donate I'm gonna make it this number please leave it and uh, he didn't say anything. He's like, well, since Krona's not paying attention, I'm going to do this. And Krona's like, I'm always watching. All right. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but, but I'll leave it for an hour. And sure enough, like 
he loved it and then he went back and he added more time it was funny but yeah Crona, Crona is amazing I love Crona where's my uh, I wish I could have shortcuts on the phone where I could just like type in like 42 and it's like a play my G man, thank you very much. Thank you, dude. Does that mean you finished making those snake fart emotes? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I tell terrible jokes. This is a marble drain to start. Can I stack round number three? All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Luck. Jesus. So I can only boost twice, right? Well, that's what Krona said yesterday, but now he said you could use it an infinite number of times. So again, I don't know. RN Gamer, way too much <gasps> power. I wonder. Jens is out of there, becoming Kyle. Oh no. Miss Queeb, I'll get you what? to I'll get you to hold your your boosts for a moment if you don't mind. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's a thing where you can you can sit there and spam boost an infant number of times and then the computer randomly selects two of yours. I wonder if that's what it means. No. I don't. Go ahead and boost now. I think you're. Are you down? Yeah, you're down. So go ahead and boost. I know. Zoe, are you finished? This is a Can slate. we go back inside? Oh no, Slack. Whoa, you want to slow down towards the end, folks. It's not about the fastest time necessarily. It's about finishing. Genocide can, could use with a bit of a boost, I think. Back of the Yo, pack. Yo, we gotta go fast. <laughs> I got stuck watching those, um, watching that sound on TikTok. Like... Donkey Jim's off. <gasps> Genocide just took karate and friendship out. <gasps> Rude. His name is Genocide, to be fair. My G-Man with another win. Shins. I have no idea what's going on. But I didn't boost at all. I came ninth. <laughs> Look at that emote that Karate just used. What? Excuse me? Yes. I love that emote. I am the king of eats. Am I dead? Did I die? Uh, no, you made it, I think. You think? Hi, XPL. Thank you for joining us on this ride of chaos. So you can't even tell me where I placed? No, nope, I didn't look for your name on that last one. Excuse me? Some rude shit. Where the hell is everybody? Oh, oh, here we are. Oh. Johnny B. Good luck, Johnny B. I love looking at everybody's usernames, and I always feel like just a dumbass because I picked wrong. What do you mean you picked wrong? I'm 
my username's gonna be Miss Queen because I'm Mrs. McQueen. I don't know. It's fine. Like, you, fine username to me. No, I mean it. It makes it easier on chat to see like where my alliance lies. It was very confusing for some people with my name being Internet Nana. Like I understand. But you know, I'd like my own identity. That'd be cool. Or something. Magisto, thank you. It is. It is. It's just... Karate oh. and friendship. Yeah, you don't necessarily want to boost on this one too much at all. Nah, I'm not going to touch it. It's going to be big trouble if you do. I should shave my face and grow long hair and become the nemesis anti-queen. Do it, 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 do it. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds, folks. Such the a good soundtrack, this one. Was that a reference to Zack Snyder's Justice League? I don't know what you're talking about. Who who are you talking to? The Magisto DC Universe specifically, yeah. That's oh, why no. that's why the bad guys were on the Earth because it happened to have the anti life equation. I, I liked it. No. I thought it was good. The Snyder cut. Meh. There was some parts that were like the whole end sequence with Joker didn't need to be there. Um I didn't see it. <sighs> Can we go back in? I'm cold. She hasn't done anything since we've been out here. She's just sat and stared. All right, here we go, guys. 10 seconds. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, we got booster straight away. Crone is going ultra fast around the outside. Let's see if that strategy pays off. Lifelong gamer is off. Boosted at the wrong time. Yeah, you don't want to boost in here. Because you get caught up on the walls or worse. Wind toes through. Wind, wind two. Quinto. Quinto has an H in his name. Quinto? Quinto. And it's like Quinto, like 98 or oh, something. Oh, my G Man, no. Oh. RN? Way off. I mean, you could get lucky and land in the later section of the, the map. I guess that's got to have happened before you. Chavino is still spinning around the funnel. Xylixol is off come on let's go back in i gotta take care of your brother come in psychomantis if you make this negative wow winter is actually smashing it right now will you please pay attention to where i rank at the end, please let me know. Slack toes off. Genocide is off. Didn't take anyone with him this time. I'd be interested to see if Wintu actually boosted at all. Garfield is very epic, getting stuck a little bit on a bollard towards the end. However, still coming in third place. Some white guy, number two, becoming Kyle, number four. Donkey Jim just taking it from Veg Fat, was it? Cold Coast. 
McQueeb, Magisto. We're just waiting on Val, Valahar, and Shavino now. You got fifth with no boosts. Congrats, Wintu. That was really well done. A time of 1 minute and 52 seconds. Ms. Queeb, you got 2 minutes and 16 seconds. 17th place. Uh, I was 21st. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. I'm, pr I'm proud of you. Is everything good with my audio? It seems that... Nope, that's just Discord being Discord, I guess. Um, nicely done, Garfield. It was cool. I think that's going to be it for Marbles tonight. Uh, thanks for hanging out with that. I'm going to check out a new game briefly, see what that's like, and then probably jump into some more Isaac afterwards. Give me one second here. Let's switch scenes real quick. Now you're looking at usernames on Twitch? What do you mean? You're going to change yours? So Magic Pickle? Okay, that's pretty epic. I like it. Is the game still eight gigabytes big what marbles that's a great question maybe it locally downloads like some of the top maps i have no idea it doesn't make a whole lot of sense oh this game just had an update like in the last hour because this game is tiny 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 oh in fact Aaron has actually already played this one. Interesting. 